Hello, today we're in Titus 3, 5. He saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Mercy. Mercy. God is so merciful. While we live by his mercy, he sent Jesus to save us. Not because we deserve it. Not because we were righteous. Because of his love. You need to be merciful with everybody, whether you like it or not. You know, there are so many amazing qualities that God is about that the world doesn't care about. But you really need to look for the definition of it and make it work for your life. You're in the situation that you are because of the choices that you made. Let's say marriage. Nobody made you marry the person that you married. It was your choice. And you made a promise for goodness, for good and bad, for sickness and health. That's the promise that you made to God and to everybody. So if for whatever reason it's not working out for you, that's nobody's problem. That's your problem. You need to make it work. God gives you all the tools to make it work. Because if you happen to have kids, You really need to make it work because it's not your kid's fault. You pray for God to heal you. You pray for God to help you change and you will look at everything differently. Again, life is about choices that you make because God is so good and so merciful that he lets you do whatever you want. But the world tells you to run, to just shut that door and run. And you're selfish because then you're just looking for things to satisfy you. You're not thinking about God. You're not thinking about the people that you will hurt if you, end up, if you end up shutting that door and running. Hey, you can only run so far. You are still going to die one day and face God. God is a big merciful, loving, caring God that wants to give you everything to make your life work and for you to enjoy His peace and enjoy Him. It's not about you. It's about Him. Listen, get it through your head. You live because He lives. And you live to proclaim his existence. Nothing else. He allows you to be here and to make choices. But you need to make good choices. Because if you don't, that means you're following the enemy. And if you're following the enemy, you will end up in hell. That's it. But if you follow God, you will end, you will end up in heaven. 
is truth. I will speak truth. Whatever's happening in your life, make it work. Honor God. That will impact people. That you're putting God first, not you. Not your feelings. Not what you think is good for you. It's what is good in God's eyes. It's about what your testimony can do to honor God. Thank you, God, for your understanding. I just cannot thank you enough. Because I understand that nothing in this world is worth my time. That the fun that can world gives me is not worth my time. You are worth it all. God is worth it all. Go after what is worth. God bless you.